Hello everyone. I thought I'd just come on and just do a quick video or a flip through video of the oh, what will I call it? A um a stencil pocket letter journal. I don't know, something like that. <laughs> I made this the other day. Um, I just had those little, I think they're around about six by six stencils, the little square ones, and they were starting to get all broken in my plastic holder. So I thought I would make little pockets for them to fit in and put the pockets in a little journal. So I could sit it up here on my desk and I really like what I've done. <laughs> um, I've just done that, it's like an easy bind where I've put the string through the centre of the pockets. I have got a, um, a, a process video up that's sped through so if you want to go and check that out. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this here, but for the time being, those all those little bits of um, twine were annoying me, so I just plaited that for the time being. And I used an a um, an old one of those bags that I picked up from the op shop, and this was the ribbon that came with it too. So the closure's got some little eyelets here and that ribbon goes tucks in down underneath the inside so I'll just give you a quick flip through there we go I put in a little pocket um, and just put in some of these little smaller um, stencils just so I had them all in one place. On the front of each pocket I just went and stenciled the the design of the stencil that I'm putting in the pocket. So they just slip in the side like that and then I know what where the stencils go back and what's in them so that I can easily just flip through um, and find what I want. I think it turned out okay and like these papers I used um, they had they were just in a paper pack and I just had them though I hadn't used them for oh dear I don't know about 12 months so I just thought that I'd use those up there's the brick one That's the chevron stencil. I'm just trying to start, I'm starting to organise my things a bit better. I'm getting annoyed when I can't find anything so I thought well this is the start isn't it. I've made myself a little pocket journal for my stencils. And I think like further down the line, the back of the stencil, I'll end up putting some kind of art, doing an art page on it or something like that. But at least now I know where my stencils are and where they're supposed to go back. <laughs> Maybe I'll start cleaning them, um, cleaning them a bit more often. And when I finished the book, I realised that I didn't count these stencils properly. I, I had three more left over, so I went and just made up another few of these little pockets. And they can easily fit... Um, you can easily fit more in, like I've got a couple of spare here now. But because it's got the, the little eyelets either end and there's plenty of room for more to be actually strung through there so I thought that was a pretty good idea 
and I'll keep a little bit of punchinella in there too. I'm always looking for that. So that's my little um, my pocket stencil holder. That's what I'll call it. Okay, so you all have a good day and thanks very much for watching and I'll catch you all later. Bye.